There's only one thing to do, and that's check out one of the most amazing creatures I've ever seen. Oh yeah, and look at what other derpy mods exist. We have a new living being. This guy right here is acid, and acid apparently is full of acid liquid, and we need to see if we can get that out. He also has this these beakers, and so, like I said, today we're testing things. <laughs> We've got Apple here, and Apple is gonna take this nice little thing right here, and he's gonna try to open this thing up. We're gonna break it open, and see if the acid that's inside does damage to Apple. Apple's okay with it, he's just a fruit. And acid isn't really living. He's somehow standing upright and stuff, but you get it. Anyway, first of all, can we do anything with these beakers? No, we can't. Can we punch? Nope, nope. Do a little tappy two right in the face. Uh, let's see what happens if we unload a little bit into him. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you having problems? Is Apple having problems? Look at, the, look at this green liquid coming out of there. Wow, why is acid on the why is he why is acid apple on the ground? He didn't uh he didn't <laughs> take any damage, did he? Okay, there we go. He's down. Can we drip this liquid on him? Does anything happen? Does it get oh I really thought it would like eat him away. That's kind of disappointing. Oh, is it is it draining a little bit out of his hands? Doesn't look like it. We need to find out if we like blow it up, what happens? So here's a Molotov. Yo! We're gonna see if we can open up that vial, the little stopper there. Is anything actually happening? Whoa, look at what it's ha it's turning dark green. Apparently, if you put some flame on it, it gets a even more weird. Nothing's happening. It's not breaking open. That's very sad. You remember canned tomato? <laughs> He's like literally in a can and you can break this glass open. Well, uh, tomato has a new friend that has come onto the scene. It's canned cucumber. Look at him. He looks freaking awesome he's got spikes all over him like a cactus which is kind of weird but his little cucumber head is inside there and uh you would normally think that tomato would be happy to see cucumber but he's not he wants to be the only canned item and so he's mad and he's got this brand new ray gun <laughs> look at this look at this ray gun looks sweet it better have some freaking power to it and it better pop that little can right off his head let's see what happens in three two one, two. Oh, it totally broke. Where do the cucumbers go, though? It broke open, and it's gone. But where... Oh, man, look at that. Reload is super slow, but it is definitely powerful. And it's got some cucumber juices leaking out there. Oh, no! Look at all of them! The, the, the cucumber armies here, they're very mad that their brethren has been destroyed. They've all come out of nowhere. Really, the whole point is uh, Tomato wanted this to happen. So you could test the power of the ray gun, and if it goes through multiple cucumbers. Here we go. Boom! Oh, it totally did. Uh, this one's fine, but look, it took the pants right off this one. <laughs> Look at it! He's missing his legs. It's just so weird looking. They all have different. Oh, this one. Oh, this one was fine. I thought this one was fine, but he's actually got some cucumber bones in his arms happening there. Wow, that's that ray gun's pretty powerful there, Tomato. And Tomato's like, I will be the only. It's like high. It's like a weird version of Highlander, but with freaking weird little vegetable fruits. Melon here was having a great day, enjoying the sunshine. That was until he uh, was, got stopped along his walk by this giant, gangly creature. Something new has come to he the game. It's uh, SCP-096. Look at this, and guys, there is a melon? 096 that I was going to show you, but I'm going to save it because it's so insane that you have to, you just have to wait to see. Well, I'll show you in another video. Anyway, he doesn't really stand very well. He's got gangly fingers and he's got a face. They're going to eat him. Yeah. Oh, what the heck happened? Is he, made, is he made of glass or something? Yeah. Um, he doesn't really do anything. I mean, he's like, yeah. Attacking his body and stuff. He is definitely lagging. He just wants some watermelon. That's all. He's made out of glass, I think. Listen to his body. Can we? Does that mean we can crush him? Hold on, let's see. Whoa, the lag. I just want to hear if it breaks. I slammed him down. Wow, it's super laggy. I might have just crashed my game. No, he's... Okay, I don't know what's going on with him. Oh! Oh man, this is insane. You guys, we've got a new massive creature that has come. Oh, look at their 
freaking blades in there. No way. Guys, Mecha Godzilla is here. And he's got all kinds of things. That's a laser. It's a freaking rocket on his face. What the heck? He's got whatever. What's this thing? Oh, it's stinking explosive. What? He's got mines on his hands. He's equipped with all kinds of things. Mecha Godzilla is here for one reason and one reason alone. He wants to destroy the world's supply of cookies. <laughs> he said, since I'm metal and I can't enjoy cookies, no one else is going to be able to either. He's super mad at life. Okay, so his first method. Dude, he can't even get down. He can't even get down. There, there he goes. He's coming down. He's going to use his little saw blades on the cookies. Maybe. He's re it's really hard to move them. It's it's almost impossible, actually. We, we just need these little hand... I don't know how he would even do this. How would he eat? Doesn't even make sense. How would he attack? There we go. There we go. Oh! No! We lost some cookies! <laughs> they actually worked. Uh, that, that, I, I didn't think that was going to actually do, do what I want. He, he, I can't... He's very rigid. He's very, very rigid. You can't move him. And then he's got like low gravity or something. And so he's uh, having a hard time. Okay, okay. Get the laser. The laser is in place. Okay, we're going to freeze him right there. Freeze. Laser. Laser time. Maybe. If it, may. <laughs> Just open his mouth all the way. There we go. And zap. Ah, uh, we do know the the cookies impervious to the laser. Oh no! Never mind. He's gonna burn them. There's nothing worse than burnt cookies. Ew! Look at the gross stuff coming off of them. What's happening? There's one cookie remaining. We need someone to save us. <laughs> Look, it's Mothra. Look at how cool Mothra looks. Oh my goodness. Look at that huge wing. He, he, I think uh, Collision's disabled, so I don't actually know if she does anything. It doesn't seem like she does. I mean, maybe she's got, she got a, oh, she's got her little thing on the back there. She can poke him. Yeah, uh, definitely Collision is not enabled on her, so I don't know. Uh, wait, what? It is. Oh, she's frozen. Unfreeze. Oh, I probably have to do the whole thing, don't I? Oh, no. That's that's a lot. That's a lot of Mothra. For whatever reason, I, I literally cannot uh, do it. I can't. I can't do it. I can't unfreeze. I can't unfreeze. I can't select it. No. It's like broken or something. Or maybe there's too much lag. Let me get rid of everything. Oh, I think I did it. I think I did it. I think it might have worked. Did it work? She unfrozen? Oh! She's unfrozen! But she just falls apart. Okay, we have to. We gotta. We gotta just imagine for a second here. What the heck? Okay, we just gotta imagine. Mothra somehow destroys Mecha Godzilla. She she stabs him right in 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 God in Mecha Godzilla's like power source or something. Okay, that's what happened. Gotta say that's one of the most disappointing things I think I've experienced in this game. So I guess that means that uh, we should check out something that maybe does work. This guy right here, which is Entity. 6948 some kind of weird twisted experimented on melon with giant gangly arms and wrap him up and say you're coming home with me tonight to eat some food with me because I'm lonely and I need friends and Mel was like oh please no I just want to go home and sleep and he's like trust me we can play Call of Duty and Mel was like not Call of Duty no <laughs> he doesn't like Call of Duty he wants to play something else <laughs> anyway let's see what happens oh see this is a good thing about something with gangly gangly hands and stuff he can just like kind of be weird and stomp and be all slinky like and destroy everything and and Madeline's like I need a weapon to see if I can somehow destroy this thing oh, look at it there it is what is it you might ask I don't we don't actually know <laughs> but he's got it and he's gonna fire it it's <laughs> the void gun he's Yay! I just need massive surgery and a new leg and I'll be okay. <laughs> I've stopped the entity with this massive weird weapon. Oh my gosh! 
Okay, I think we might have found a new, uh, most powerful weapon. The Void Gun? Jeez, Melon, you're gonna be alright. I think you're gonna be just fine. You're somehow still alive. The watermelon juices are flowing, but you didn't even need that leg.